every day on this programme. We ask you if you want to get in touch with us with your stories, news you think we should be covering or stories which affect you. Rich Winkup did that. He's 35. At school, his stammer was so bad he barely spoke. One of his biggest regrets is that he didn't ever manage to give his head boy speech as a sixth form student. Having overcome his stammer, he decided to put that right. And our reporter, Ashley John Baptiste, was with him. I've played rugby since I was five years old. I used to have my name printed on the back of my shirts so that when people asked for my name, I could turn around and show them. That's my name on the back. Richard Wincap. Three, two, quick topes. One, well done. Okay, right. Should we do it as fast as we can or take it slow and steady? What do you think? What might work? Fast as... Yeah. Look at, look at that, that kind of thing. Elliot's making himself like a tennis player. All right, I can't do that for long. My, my knees hurt. Rich is 35 years old and has had a chronic stammer ever since he can remember. Brilliant, well done, lovely stuff. He's come a long way and his passion for rugby has played a massive role in helping him overcome it. OK, hold it there, well done. Now, as a lecturer and rugby coach, he's respected by many as an eloquent speaker. Rugby's given me a hell of a lot in life. It's given me friends, it's given me confidence, it's given me the, the arena to express myself. So my speech has always been a problem. I was captain of my school team and that was quite a challenge, trying to come up with motivational things to say in the middle of a game or before the game. As a stammer, it was pretty difficult. You had stuff that you wanted to say, but you just had no real way of getting it out there. Those guys, please. Did you ever think, as a young rugby player, that you would have the speech ability to be able to be a rugby coach? I never thought I'd ever coach. Never. How did you overcome your stammer? I overcame my stammer by joining the Maguire programme in 1999. I have had to accept myself as a stammer, as a stammerer. When I joined the Maguire programme, it was evident to everybody there. But you have to accept yourself. You can't hide it. You've got to face up to it. You've got to tell other people about it because that takes a lot of the pressure off yourself. So it's, it's a mindset thing as much as a physiological thing. We need to find a nice old lady or something. <laughs> the Maguire programme is a support group for stammerers. Rich now works with the group, helping other young people who struggle like he did. Okay, okay. nice and simple, get eye contact. Excuse me. Yeah. I'm on a, on a speech cast. Okay. And um, <clears throat> I've been set a task to talk to 100 strangers. Okay. Could I, please? Go on. What do you need? Yes. Introduce myself, please. Come on, mate. Fine. No, take that bad pal. Come on. Take a breath, take a focus. You're doing really, really well, all right? Thank you. Don't worry about anything. What do we say about bad ones? Sorry? What do we say about bad ones and negative experiences? Cancel it and move on. Yeah, forget it. The cancellation technique is all about going back and doing it again. That's the easiest way to describe it. I have one cancellation left from my days as an out-of-control stammerer. I've done everything. I was asked to leave a bus before because I couldn't ask my ticket. I've caught the bus since then. I'm happy with it. I've ordered train tickets. I've ordered cinema tickets. I've done everything I need to do, apart from one. And many years ago, 
I was head boy at school and it's tradition that the head boy spoke at speech day and I wasn't asked to speak. They didn't put me in that position because of my stammer. It's weird, all this, this it's all I've wanted to do is this speech day, since I couldn't do it. All I've wanted to do, and I said to my parents, after my course, I wanna go back and do speech day. And I got the chance. Sorry. Sorry. Please welcome Richard Wincup. Thank you. So what is stammering? Stammering is all about fear. I stammer because I'm afraid of stammering. stammering Going back to school was a full circle for Rich as he conquered his final cancellation. He didn't stammer once, his message was strong and the audience response was overwhelming. I don't know what I'm going to do next. <laughs> but thank you for being part of it, thank you very much. So please, for Rich, if you go to our programme page, you can share the film. Uh, Rich got in touch with me on Facebook to tell us his story. You could do the same. Message us Facebook. You can send us an email, victoria at bbc.co.uk, or you can message us on Twitter.